Thanks, Anna. Well, speaking of that, if one of your New Year's resolutions may be to spend less time on your phone, mindlessly scrolling social media, we know we've all been there. Well, some find it an entertaining way to pass the time on platforms that connect us to the rest of the world. It could also be affecting our mental health and overall wellness. That's where we bring in registered clinical psychologist Simon Sherry from Dalhousie University. Good morning to you and thank you for being here with us this morning. So it's no surprise, Canadians, we like to be on our phones we like to scroll social media and keep up to date that with what's happening is it possible to actually become addicted to your phone and to social media it's definitely possible to make excessive or inappropriate use of your phone or social media from a scientific standpoint it remains controversial as to whether or not you can truly have a behavioral addiction to something like a phone mm -hmm. okay so that information is still uh, undecided but what is it about social media that people find so entertaining is it the FOMO fear of missing out is it wanting to be connected what is it about social media that we're seeing that's a great question and I think it's very much an individual question mm -hmm. We know that there are a variety of motives for using something like social media. Some of them can be quite pro-social, like forming a connection with other humans, and some of them can be darker, like a motive such as being narcissistic and always wanting to promote yourself in a sort of brash or self-absorbed way through social media. So what are some of the signs that you might be spending too much time online? Could it be affecting your self-esteem, feelings of loneliness? What are some of those signs that people should be watching out for? Well, there are many consequences that can accompany excessive screen time or social media use. We know there are physical impacts, problems like cardiovascular disease or diabetes or even early mortality have links to excessive screen time. On the mental health side of things, we know depression, loneliness, distractibility and anxiety are all linked to too much screen time. You have to look at a given individual and ask if there might be a pattern of what you can call displacement occurring in that person's life where social media is pushing you away from real-time social interaction or pushing you away from other activities in your life. Is there a way you could maybe recognize when that's happening, say, with one of your family members or with one of your friends? Is there something that people can be watching out for? I think that our smartphones give us a lot of feedback on that. Very true. On a weekly basis, whether we like it or not. Take a look at your screen time and take a look at your social media use. And I think it's really important to see how much of your discretionary time you're allocating to phone use. In any given week, we have only a few discretionary hours, maybe about 50. And if a lot of that, the majority of that, is being allocated to social media and the like, you may have to ask yourself, is this the best possible use of my time and my life? So turn on those screen reports. A lot of big companies like Google and Apple, too, have uh, made it possible for you to see how much time you're spending on their platforms. One question I wanted to ask is about sleep. Uh, is it causing issues with sleep? People laying in bed, scrolling on their phones. I know I've been guilty doing that. Uh, the blue light affecting your uh, sleep habits. Are, are you seeing signs of that, too? So research would tell us there are a number of problems that can arise from screen time and social media. We've got decreased physical activity and we've got increased sitting time and another hypothesized way in which social media links up to mental and physical health problems would be through sleep disturbance mm -hmm. where people are losing an hour or more of sleep mindlessly scrolling through social media. Okay, and it's always good a reminder to have these conversations to Absolutely. let people know, you know, if you feel you're spending a little bit too much time online, if it is affecting your self-esteem, you might just want to put down the phone for a little while. Get out and go for a walk, spend some time with friends. There's other ways to connect with people. All excellent ideas. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We will be right back.